Hey guys, I'm Alex. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a creative illustrator and graphic designer and this is the place where I like to draw and just create cute characters and give new life to all things through art. In today's video is going to be another quick one, how to create a mandala using this tool from Infinite Painter app called Kaleido. This allows you to create shapes more easily and symmetrically, as you can see here. And it's just going to be a free hand design and I'm just going to walk you through some steps. As you can see here, I have just started creating the mandala shape. I usually just start with an idea, maybe like a flower design in mind and I just keep on building from that. I just like to not think when I create mandalas. I feel like this type of design is really intuitive and I don't think there's a wrong way to do this. So as you can see here I'm just sketching. I'm actually in this drawing particularly I didn't use a sketch. I just freehanded the entire design and then I just went straight to coloring. Usually I will create a sketch before and then go inking and then coloring, adding shadows and texture and all that. But as you can see here, it's a quick tutorial and I just wanted to draw mandala. <laughs> I've been doing this for coloring books on Amazon, um, not for me, but just creating for other sellers on Amazon and you can ask for a project like this on Upwork and it's just a fun way to spend your free time and also make some some money. You can try doing this for your own Amazon store. I, I admit I didn't try it because it just I already have the Etsy store and the website so it just seemed like a, too much of a hassle. Here I'm just using a smaller brush to add some details like this little scaly things and see with this tool the Kareido one whatever you draw it will multiply and you can make it as simple or as intricate as you want I think it saves up a lot of time and you can really play with some cool designs that would otherwise take you a lot of time to create. I don't know if you used this app before, Infinite Painter, but it's just... I use it because I don't have an iPad. I'm using a Samsung tablet S6 Lite. And this, I find, is the most useful app I have tried so far. I've been trying sketchbook i think i started with sketchbook and then i just went to this and then krita and then some other apps but this was the best here i just started drawing and when you color in like in a coloring book and you use this tool the kaleido it will also do the coloring in all the sides so I'm just randomly color, I don't have a pattern in mind, I just go with my intuition and see what kind of looks best. So <laughs> I don't know what advice to give you here, just explore and try and delete and then retry until you like the design. So I, as I was saying to you, the Infinite Painter app uh, they have a free version, they also have a paid version and I think it's pretty cheap. So give that a try. Uh, I started drawing with this and then I just kind of got used to it. So now it's my most used app. I got a Samsung instead of the iPad because I just didn't have the money at the time and I didn't know if I would like digital drawing and I just wanted to get into it. So I decided that, okay, let me just try this and if I like it, in the future I will make the investment. So I'm considering I'm either between this, the iPad or just getting the um, maybe the Galaxy, the laptop, the two-in-one laptop and tablet. But I don't know. That's a topic for another video. So here I'm just kind of starting to 
get to the bottom of the drawing so to say and I'm just keeping on painting and adding color and just playing with it and see what what do I like best I just want it to be a fun drawing um, kind of make it feel summery just light and make it an optimistic mandala usually when you draw something like this you put your intention some some kind of intention into it and my intention was for this drawing to bring joy to bring hope and just happy thoughts happy feelings here I just started to add some details like some random hearts random leaves I feel like this makes the drawing pop off more and it makes it more interesting mm, you know it makes it look finished and the same with adding the shadows that I'm adding right now and for this the the shadow part I learned this trick from Genevieve uh, videos she's this cool illustrator that I follow and I really really appreciate and she uses a new layer and then she she chooses a purple kind of color and she puts that layer in linear burn and then reduces the opacity and then kind of adds these shadows and it makes the shadow consistent and look nice through the entire drawing so you don't have to choose different colors and you know make the shadows like that this kind of goes well over all the colors when you do this trick so i'm very grateful that i learned this from her and i will leave her channel below because you have so much things to learn from her she she's a really cool digital illustrator and yeah go check her so i was kind of getting to the end here and just adding the final shadows when you use this tool the kaleido you will add the shadows through the entire design now i gonna start adding some background color I was planning on leaving this as it was but then I realized maybe I could add some more texture because it will make it more interesting it will not be that much visible on the camera but uh, when you print the design or you just look at it it has a more organic feeling I chose this green color for the background now that I look at it I'm not such a big fan of it <laughs> but then I liked it so this this was it See, I'm adding the texture now and I'm just using a big pencil brush and I have I use a bigger size and then I just add it to, through the entire drawing simple nothing too intricate I didn't I didn't really have much time when I drew this so I wanted to make it look complicated even though it wasn't so I feel like always when you add some shadows and some highlights and then some texture you will automatically elevate your design and make it more feel more complete see here I'm adding some dots I always love adding dots and sprinkles and flickers of white I used to do this when I was painting t-shirts I would always finish a t-shirt with that and it felt more cohesive and it it's part of my style so I'm just adding that and then some little flowers in here again to make it more playful and I just felt like adding 
these flowers would make it feel more fun. So now to the final touches, I'm adding more hearts, more leaves, more, more. <laughs> I'm just adding more things and until I feel like it's finished. So this is it. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned something new today and make sure to check out my channel and the other videos and until next time, bye!